Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. In this video, we are looking at this beautiful thing, the Korg B2 Digital Piano. I know this is a guitar channel, sometimes a little bit of gaming, but some of you might not know that I did start out on the piano when I was six years old, up until I was about 13 years old. Then I took up guitar and didn't really look back on piano much. I did a little bit of college when I was 34. That was over 11 years ago. Uh, but hardly ever played since I was about 13 years old. Um, as you can tell from the intro music, I'm very, very rusty. Um, I haven't played this very much. I've only had it a few days, so I wanted to do this video while it was all fresh and everything. Um, I have done some research on this price range of keyboard, and for me, this is the one that stood out. So the reason I wanted to get a keyboard or a piano, in fact, again, was because I want to improve my live streams, my Twitch live streams, by adding another instrument to the sound. Um, I wanted to brush up on my piano skills because it's been a long time and I feel like I could really do something. I've got an itching to get back to it, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I wanted a digital piano that was also a MIDI trigger for recording so that I could uh, use... Uh, sounds and stuff through MIDI for that kind of thing and I wanted something with weighted keys and something that was a full scale length which is 88 notes um, and felt like a piano because I learned on a piano I haven't really played synths or keyboards or anything like that and I know what a, I like a piano feel and this does that as well also money is 
pretty too tight to mention most of the time. So I needed something that was budget, that played well and sounded good um, and all that kind of thing. I got a really good deal on this. Uh, I only paid, I think it was £367, and that included the keyboard, the stand, the stool, some headphones, uh, and free next day delivery, and that was from Rimmers Music in the UK. Very, very good service. I'm really, really impressed. Anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, run through all the sounds uh, very quickly so you can have a listen. There's 12 sounds on this keyboard. Um, and show you the ins and outs, the outputs and stuff, and how it's like rigged up for my streaming. I haven't uh, used it through a DAW yet, but there'll be other videos which I will do with this uh, in due course. It also, I should point out, it came with 30 free piano lessons as well, which my daughter's taken and my wife's taken advantage of. Um, and there's some software or something by Korg. Anyway, let's have a look at the sounds and the outputs and stuff and see if you it's right for you if you're looking for this kind of thing
Okay, let's scoot round the back so you can have a look what we got here. You have got far right. You've got the USB MIDI, which is awesome. You've got your uh, power supply in and your headphone out. And you've got an audio in as well, so you can plug in iPhone or you know, whatever device you want if you want to play music through the 15 watt speakers that are included in this. It is quite loud, um, and that's all you've got. You've also got the uh, foot pedal connector, which is I don't know if you can see it under wait, under there, and it is their own propriety one, and it's quite flimsy. I don't know if you can see. I thought the plug itself was quite flimsy and he's got two little wires that are showing out there. Uh, not too impressed with the quality of that. That's one of the only negatives I've I've found so far on this keyboard. Um, you've only got the 3.5mm uh, jack or headphone out. Um, but uh, for me, it's not an issue. I've got, I, I ordered a cable from Amazon. It cost five quid and it just goes into the headphone there and then goes into stereo input on a mixer here. Um, so it works perfectly well. Uh, not got an issue there. I know a lot of people are moaning it doesn't have a quarter inch jack out, but it doesn't really bother me in the slightest. So this is the cable that I bought. You've got your 3.5 stereo jack on one end, and then it goes into your normal quarter inch uh, left and right on the other end and that is it basically it's about one and a half meters long amazon there's loads of them you know you can there's different kinds it's not the best quality one but it's okay it's not going to go out on the road this keyboard it's just going to stay in here so it will pretty much be left plugged in uh most of the time anyway so that's all right and there's the uh korg foot pedal just a sustain pedal uh it's quite pretty it does the job it's it's got a decent action on it it's it's quite fine. I'm, I've got no issues with that at all. It's just the connector could be an issue. I mean, if it breaks, then you're going to have to buy the same one or one with that connector on it, uh, which I suppose you can only get from Korg. Um, unless you know what you're doing, you might be able to uh, modify it in some way or the keyboard in some way. But So with regard the action of the keys, um, it is weighted and there's three different settings. You can have a heavy, medium or a light. You can uh, adjust that over here. And what it does as well, which is really cool, is that like a real piano, the bottom keys are heavier than the lighter keys. So you get a more realistic feel. Uh, the keys are plastic, so you, you do have a plasticky feel to them. Um, the build quality of the actual con it, you know, whole thing is a little bit, you know, it's a little bit flimsy here and there, and this um, is just cloth on here. Um, I thought it was a metal grill, but it's not. It's actually cloth, so it might that could tear, you know, if you're not careful. Um, but other than that, I mean, other than that, the actual playing of it is really, really nice, and it's it is really, really close to playing an actual real piano. Um, I did spend a lot of time playing grand pianos when I was at school, and we had an upright piano in the house when I was a child. Um, but I really dig this. I really like the way it plays. It's the first thing I noticed when I when I first played it was, wow, that it actually does feel really nice. So that's the good thing. Let's scoot over and just have a quick look at the buttons, show you what they do, and then we'll wrap this up because this is dragging on, isn't it? Okie dokie. Here's your buttons. You've got, th uh, what have they got there? Five buttons, and that's it. There's no LED display anywhere, so you just have to kind of know where you are. You've got your power on button there and your volume button. Then you've got play, piano play, and sound and a metronome. Piano play uh, just basically takes you back to the first piano, uh, uh, depending on what setting you're on. And the sound, that just goes through your sounds. You just click that and that just starts at the first, goes to the second, all the way out to the twelfth. Now, if you hold the piano play and the sound button together, you can hit certain keys on the keyboard and that'll, that's like shortcuts to different functions. You can transpose the keys as well, so to whatever key you want and adjust the tempo of the metronome and that kind of thing. And that is basically it. There's nothing else on here. You, it comes with the instructions to tell you where everything is, but you basically have to remember or learn what each key does, which is a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit of a ball ache, if you like. It would be nice to have even a small LED display or something just to show you where you were. But, you know, for me, 
it's okay. I'm mostly going to be using piano sounds anyway, and maybe strings. I'm not I'm probably not going to do much else. And uh, for the rest of the time, when I'm using it, I'll, I'll be practicing, or I'll be using the MIDI function uh, on my DAW. So there you go. Okay then, so that's the introduction to the Korg B2. Um, overall, I'm really, really impressed with it. Um, it's a really affordable, good quality keyboard with good sounds from Korg. I mean, you know, it's legendary. Their piano sounds are legendary and stuff like that. So um, it plays great. Build quality is what you expect for something of this price range. And I think for £367, to get a, a you know an okay stand and a, and a piano stool and some head the headphones I mean I didn't include the headphones in this they're a bit naff but you know I mean they're all right for practicing within the house because uh, sometimes this keyboard uh, this piano will be in the house so the girls can use it and you can stick the headphones on you're not bothering anybody do you know what I mean um, that's fine nice little touch you know so um, this video has been long enough I've bored you enough already if you've made it this long thank you very much uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe. Hit the little dingly dongly thing. Apparently, hitting the dingly dongly bell thing is more important anyway. Uh, give it a like if you like this kind of thing. If you've got this keyboard, I'd love to hear from you and how you know you're getting on with it. Um, if there's any tips or tricks that you could give me, that would be awesome. Uh, there will be some more videos on this. I'll uh, do some on the MIDI function and stuff, and we'll have a look at that. And uh, um, I'll go more into depth with my uh, my Twitch streaming setup uh, with my looper and everything else. Which brings me on to the fact that you should follow me on Twitch as well. Lots of live performances going on over there. Well, I will be using this. And I use these <laughs> and stuff as well. And my Boss RC500 and loads of other stuff. So, with all that said and done, I'm just going to leave you with a little bit of a ditty. And I say a peace till next time. And that's it, basically. So thank you very much. I'm loving the keyboard. Also, I should say... The reason I have this keyboard is because of my community on Twitch. Um, they're so generous. They've they've donated the money over time uh, for me to buy this. Because um, like I said before, money is tight right now. Um, I would not have been able to get this if it wasn't for the generosity and the support from my Twitch community. They are freaking awesome. Hutch Club, you're awesome. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Peace till next time. <laughs>